Super Rugby round 15 done and dusted. Quarterfinals locked in, Hurricanes on top. Let's go, baby. It doesn't get better. Fiji drew a last match of the regular round, lock in their final spot with a great win over the Rebels. Oh man, regular season is done, dusted, out of here. We're into finals, eight teams, onto the semis, onto the finals, and a new a new champ is crowned. Crusaders aren't in it. A new champ is crowned. Before we get into it, hit that subscribe, hit that comment, hit a like, hit a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Is your team still in? Who's your second team? Is your team gonna win it? Is your team gonna beat my team in the finals? Cause I'm gonna be, we're gonna be there. The Canes are gonna be there. Let's go. Hit that like, comment, subscribe. You know how it goes. And let's let's get into it. Guys, it's a rapid, rapid review. We're getting into it. Crusade, first game, Crusaders versus Moana, 43 to 10. Crusaders did what they had to do to hopefully get in. They had to win and win well, win with a bonus point, and they did that. Crusaders of old, dominant, up front, physical, strong, effective rocks, um, and chanting their arm. That's what happens when the Crusaders are on a roll and their forwards can uh, get going, get good ball for their backs, and their backs can just do whatever. And this is it. The Crusaders of old. And, and almost, I'm like, what happened, what, like what the, se what the season would have been if Fergus Burke was there from the start, ready to go. Like out and out 10, that's a quality, half quality 10 as well. Um, and it just shows the difference that he's made the past few weeks that he's been in there um, and Crusaders have been playing really well. And that's, everyone I think is, 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 is thanked Fiji and Drua for winning to knock the Crusaders out. Because I don't think anyone really would have wanted the Crusaders in um, in the finals game. And they used them all really well. Um, and they haven't done it all year because their lineups have kind of been a shambles this year. And they used it well in this game. Scored a couple tries off that. Um, I thought that Moana's try off the lineup was a beauty, man. You love it when the set piece, when the set play comes off. Um, and looks looks great. And then... Um, Man, I thought Noah Hotham was fantastic again, all over the park, controlling that uh, tempo really well. Um, he was one try, three defenders beaten, 70 passes. And then Ethan Blackadder, as always, fantastic, so physical, gets all over the park. He's in the engine on him, it just keeps, keeps going. Uh, he was one try, 13 carries, 14 tackles, and two turnovers. Uh, good win for the Crusaders, and that, that wraps it up for both of those teams, Moana and the Crusaders. Go over to the Reds versus the Tars, 26 to 27 for the Reds. Um, geez, well done, the Tars. They leave the, almost their best game for the end. Um, what a game, man. Tars pushed, it, pushed the Reds right till the end. Um, one of the Tars' better games, but that's it. That's all she wrote for the Tars who collect the wooden spoon this year. All reds the first half, then Taz kind of woke up in that second half. I thought Uru was immense, man. Coming back from his injury and then really just still putting his hand up for that Wallabies call up. He was one try, 10 carries, 19 tackles. How good. That's what you want as a, as a second rower, getting in, doing that tough stuff. That's what you want, man. Um, I thought flu that Fluke's try, holy sh that interplay between backs and forwards, and then the back, the out the those out the back plays when they are executed well, everyone the timing is on song. It just looks great, man. It's beautiful. I thought Jock Campbell played really well. So elusive, so explosive, and for such a small bloke, can bust tackles just out of nowhere. He was really good. Eight carries, seventy four run meters, five defenders beaten. Um, Jack Bowen played well for his first game at ten or second game at ten. First game of 10. Not too sure on that. He played really well. That um, try assist for Holloway was good. Um, nice. He bagged the try himself as well. Obviously, unfortunate, the penalty right at the end that he missed. But he was he was good. One try, three defenders beaten, 58 passes, and 11 points. Um, man, and then how good for Tom Liner to crack that, knock that 50-meter penalty, pretty much, to win it right at the end. Fantastic. As of 10 and a kicker, you want you want those those kicks, man. Those pressure kicks. Love it. And Reds march on, man. How good 
for the Reds. Drua versus Rebels, 40 to 19, game of two halves, 19 all at half time. And then the Drua just run away with it, man. Drua were fantastic. Good to see them play for the full 80. There was a try that they scored in the 77th minute, I thought it was. I think it was. Brought back for a knock on, um, but just shows that they are playing their full 80. They're not going to rest on a two point or two try. Uh, lead they're going to keep going man foot on the throat and keep going and that's what you want that's something that I kind of was looking at the drawer that they were they had they're having troubles with um, was getting a nice score a nice lead and then letting the teams come back into the game not having that killer instinct but they showed that in this game um, and they really play like they played well man they, they needed to win this game to keep their season alive and they did, they did that. I thought they'd draw Sessi's try, the one where there was 21 phases leading up to it. Fantastic. It just shows that like the growth in Fiji and Drua that they've had throughout the season. There's been so many times where they don't score first or second phase and then they're kind of not too sure what to do with the ball. Where this, that shows the patience on attack. They can set plays. They can do their, their forwards plays, out the back plays. And they, even there was a couple times in those in that set play or those phases, those 21 phases where they went backwards. Um, but it just shows them they can consolidate, calm down and hit that ball up again and then play out wide, suck the teams in and then play out wide where when they see the space there. Just patience, shows the patience that they have built um really really good i thought ravo tomanda was great for them again elusive all over the park always looking for work and busting tackles when he does get the ball really good one try 10 carries 94 run meters and four defenders beaten and then ikaneveri a captain's knock really good with ball in hand 12 carries 40 ah oh, sorry four defenders beaten and four tackles i thought on a losing side Kellaway was really good a uh, great turn of pace. He's always looking for the ball, always looking for work. Um, and he he always beats the def first defender, I feel like, as well. He doesn't look like someone that's strong or fast, but does beat. That's where he, he probably gets most of his defenders. One try, six carries, 103 run meters, and three defenders beaten. Rebels go six losses on the trot, and they're in the finals. Uh, tough, tough old ask. I think they're playing Blues. Tough one. Canes versus Islanders. I said this is going to be a high-scoring game, man. 41 to 14. Always going to be a high-scoring game. 41 to 14. Hurricanes put out one of their strongest sides available. And Islanders rested a lot of players, obviously locking in that final spot. So they didn't want they wanted to rest players. And I just saw it coming, man. Canes, Canes wanted that full five points to lock in that top position. And they did, man. Securing home quarterfinal. If they win that home semi and if they win that home final. So very smart play from my Canes. Um, did not see the Highlanders scoring first up. Uh, when they scored first up, I thought, oh, might have a game on here. But it was tickets after that, man. Canes got into their work. I thought Duplessis Karifi was fantastic all over the park. That back row, again, that back row depth for the Highland uh, Hurricanes. Unreal, man. Every time Karifi gets an opportunity, he just goes ham. Two tries, 10 carries, nine tackles, one turnover. I thought someone else had always, every time he gets opportunity, and I saw it was his 50th game, uh, Rayasi, exactly the same. And every time he gets opportunity, he goes AWOL. Scored a hat trick here. It's always, always beating the first defender every time he gets the ball, and it looks so effortless. Gets the ball and sees someone up. He looks like he's going to do something. Then boom, bounce, goose, or little step, or handoff, or bounce, run over the top of you. Like, man, he's got all these little ins and outs of how to beat a defender. And it's fantastic to watch, man. So he was three tries, 14 carries, 140 run meters, and 11 defenders beaten. That's 14 carries, 11 defenders beaten. So he's beating a defender every, pretty much every time he carries the ball. I've um, recently seen, I'm pretty sure he's put up his hand to be eligible for Fiji. Get him in there. Get him in there. I want to see him at a high, at international level because he's been fantastic. Like I said, every time he gets an opportunity for the Hurricanes. 
Moving on, Blues versus Chiefs, 31 to 17. The Blues forward pack again. Man, if they end up winning the Super Rugby, it's because of their forward pack. They are fantastic again. More tries, just dominant up front. And when you when the forwards can lay a platform like that, the backs can just thrive. And you got backs like the Blues do. Man, it makes for a scary opposition. Really, really dominant, the forwards, man. Riccatelli was great. Strong with ball in hand. He was one try, 12 carries, 13 tackles. Um, Mark Talia again around the rocks, scores again around the rocks. Like, like I've said this before, you look up and you see Mark Talia on the scrum off position. You're like, oh, fuck. Because he's stepping someone. He's bumping someone. He's, score, he's getting through there. He's near impossible to stop around the ruck. I thought Satutu was great again. Jeez, man, he's really done everything he can to get back into the All Black squad. It was two tries, seven carries, six tackles, and then not much from the Chiefs. I mean, outplayed by the Blues in all facets of the game. Just a massive effort um, to score late on the Blues. That was that was massive, obviously, so that the Blues couldn't get all their points because um, they score or they had within. The, th the three tries, I think the three, there wasn't a three try gap. I think that's what it is. Um, so that means then the Hurricanes stay on top and Blues don't get their bo the bonus point. But both teams move on into the finals. So that's going to be, that's going to be, I can't wait for the quarters, man. I can't wait for the quarters for next week. Then last game, Brumbies versus Force, 24 to 19. Man, that Tom Wright and Corey Toole link up. Holy, that combo has just been devastating teams all year. On display again, linking up twice, both assisting each other and both scoring a try. Fantastic, man. Just that out-and-out -out speed and then skill on top of that to finish Tom Wright with a little chip chase for Corey Tool, and then Corey Tool with just out-and-out -out speed to set up Tom Wright's try. I thought Tom Wright was outstanding, really coming into his own Um Always, always take like making the correct decision, knowing when to pop up, knowing when to inject himself into the back line, um, not overplaying his hand, and then really cutting out those errors out of his game. Um, he's been really good. He was good again. One try, one try assist, nine carries, 100 run meters, four defenders beaten. Western Force, although they've missed out on finals, um, I really think that they have they've they've grown so much through the season and and I kind of found their way of playing. Um, and really connected, like getting into the back end of the season. They've done all they could um, for a new team, fairly new squad coming together. They've done really well. I thought Tizano was great again. has been great all season for them. His work rate is un is unmatched almost, man. One try, four carries, 11 tackles. And I thought Kirtley Beal played really well as well. Touches at the end, so smart with ball in hand. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be shocked if he gets brought into that. Uh, Wallaby squad just to, even if he's not playing, just to be in the extended squad to help players. Um, and his knowledge and just what he can bring to a squad has been unreal. And that's it for the last regular round of the Super Rugby. Super Rugby round 15, done, dusted. We're on to finals. Oh, is your team still there? Let me know. What did you think of this round? Who are you backing in the finals? Who's going to win it? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time.